Hey everyone, welcome to today's video. So today's video is pretty much a video that I had in the works and somebody actually suggested it to me. So we were talking about um, video ideas for the next, let's start that all over again. Hey everyone, welcome to today's video. So today I wanted to try and see if I could pose a probable solution to the question, are shotguns going to be viable in this new patch? And this is birthed from a video idea that I had on how to you know, run shotguns. And I actually made a video about running shotguns a long time ago when the game first came out, um, the Division 2 that is. And so I was asking for video ideas and Ubitnik, who's like the RNG magnet said, hey, why don't you make a video on shotguns? Well, little did he know that on my little board where I plan all my videos that how I actually, actually had a video in mind about shotguns. So he and I had like a short discussion and he suggested that the Sweet Dreams will probably make for a good addition to the game. And so, uh, you know, for the, a build like that, using the Sweet Dreams to get that extra reload um, speed that you need because the evasive talent here is actually very good. All you have to do is do a dive, re uh, just a, an evade or a dive roll, and you get 25% of your ammo in your mag. And so I thought to myself, man, that's a good idea for a build. And I think that's probably going to make things like, you know, the spaz, which takes a lot of time to reload to be actually much better than it already is right now. And if you look very well, the Sweet Dreams <laughs> is actually a take on the Spaz 12. Now, huh, I will say one thing. With the new addition of the Dodge City Gunslinger Holster, I think that shotguns, for those who desire to run it, or for those of you who the RNG will not stop giving you shotguns, it might be time for you to open up your stash and try out a dual shotgun build just because this holster is easy, is much more easily accessible to everybody than maybe say the Sweet Dreams. The Sweet Dreams is a random drop from a from an outcast boss, and so you would have to farm for this if you don't already have it. But if you don't have this, then you can always go for the gunslinger holster, which I think has a slightly better reload advantage over the evasive talent. And that is the quick draw talent. This says swapping to your pistols reloads all weapons. So in any case, and at any rate, you could have maybe your ACS-12, which is a fully automatic shotgun. Very good. Uh, now, it's got a lot of stability and accuracy issues. So if you don't want to run it, that's fine. You could use something else like maybe the Sassage, the Black Market uh, uh, Sassage or SASG. Some people said it's the Saiga 12. I was like, whatever. I see SASG on the paper. I say SASG. Okay, deal with it. And so with these two uh, shotguns that I have, I guess we can do a little test run on how these two are going to work. If we maybe were to fire, you know, we get all our bullets out, we swap to the other weapon, and then, you know, get all our, once we get all our bullets out, then, you know, we swap to the holster and then bam. We're full again, and we can have maybe two Sassage 12s, um, two Spaz 12s, depending on what you want, or two of the ACS, however many you want. And this may be a valid option for running shotgun builds. Now, why am I even putting shotguns out there as the candidate, which there are other ways to go? You can use dual LMGs, I mean, for crying out loud. That is probably going to be the obvious choice for a lot of people, but a shotgun build is for people who are more, ex you know, experimental in their mindset and their builds. And somebody put a comment on the channel the other day and said, playing with shotguns are actually a lot more exhilarating because you're at risk of dying a lot because, huh, you know, you have very limited bullets, even though they land a ton of damage when they hit the enemy, but you're probably going to miss and you're at risk of getting shot because many of them have the low RPM. And then to top it off, many of them have a very, very long reload time. But if you have a holster like this now, well, that kind of helps you a lot and will eliminate a whole, maybe even up to eight seconds of reload time for you if you were to just use that holster and leverage the talent. So that brings you to not only having two shotgun builds, but leveraging the new specialization tree, which you can get a whole bunch of shotgun damage using the, the glove talents, which can give you about 12% max of your weapon damage here. 
and then also using a lot of the mods to increase your weapon damage. And in that case, you are now talking about something where your shotgun will most likely be seeing itself receive an extra 20 plus percent just from modding alone. And that's not even with running the dual China light, because if you look at the China light pieces, I don't have any here with me that you have to run two China light pieces in order for you to be able to get the extra 10% shotgun damage because the first channel light piece gives you, I think it's 10% explosive damage. And so there is a lot of damage to be leveraged. There's a lot of math. Um, I'm sorry, a lot of numbers that you can do the math with to be able to see how much damage you're going to be leveraging. And if you want to check what your DPS is, then all you have to do is just eliminate how long it takes for you to swap weapons to your, um, sidearm, uh, you know, sorry to your, yes, to your, uh, to your sidearm yes in order for you to get this damage bonus and then you're looking at you know getting something really good and shotguns might be something that for those who really want to run them they might see themselves having an, an advantage to doing so now even though yes it's probably not going to do as well as other weapons but this is definitely for those of you who have you know asked the question of oh i keep getting a whole bunch of shotguns what do i do with them well here's one idea that you can go with and pretty much, I think this is probably going to bring shotguns to the top of the uh, food chain, or it's going to push it up a little bit on the food chain, if anything. And based on this video, I am more interested now in running a shotgun build than I was. I was trying to do a shotgun build, and to be very honest, I could not find a reason to run them, is what I eventually came down with. But now that I have this holster, it's, you know, it's pretty much very interesting to own something like this, this exotic holster. I'm definitely looking forward to what a shotgun build will look like. All right. That's all I wanted to just put out here in the video. I want to hear your thoughts about what you think shotgun builds will look like. If you think that this update is giving us the advantage and the opportunity to be able to run them and get a lot of their benefits and based on our specializations now where you don't necessarily have to worry about all the talents, all you have to now focus on are mostly the healing talents. And you know, the sharpshooter has gotten a slight tweak based on the headshot damage and a few things, but that's not necessarily going to be a problem. You can use whichever specialization that you want to use. And now I think build diversity in a sense is less narrower than it is. It's always been narrow in a sense, but we're looking forward to the skill power scaling and we're probably going to be seeing some more use to items like this. Okay. I'm going to get out of your hair right now and I guess I will see you in the next video. Thank you once again for your time and your audience. Peace.